What's up guys, it's Nasty Nate. Thanks for stopping in today. We are pulling the bed off of the budget build Duramax. It's a little dark in here, but we got it on the lift. We're gonna see what the bolts look like under here since it's kind of rusty. We might have to uh, beat them off or drill them off or whatever. Beat them off? Yeah. <laughs> you like that? Yeah, that's good. <laughs> but uh, let's see. They're on there. We're Oh, they are. Yeah, they're really rusty though. Oh yeah. Here, uh, let me get the get the light on this one. Let's see. It. Snap. Yeah, we'll just have to break them off or beat them off. It's Whatever got, it takes. It's got a four inch. Dude, you don't like the four inch. Oh yeah, we love the four inch. Man, look at this. Stay tuned. We're gonna pull the bed off and uh, see what we got. So as you can tell, the rockers are, uh, yeah, they're half there. Same with the cab corner. Um, yeah, this is the passenger side, and the driver side's like, I don't know. They're both about the same. Oh, this side has a floor. But we are going to be replacing the rockers and the cab corners, so the bed has to come off so we can get to the cab corners. So we're pulling the bed off right now, seeing what happens, I guess. Ready? Yeah. It's spinning. Oh, it came out. If all of those could go that smooth, that'd be perfect. Surprisingly, they all came out. Sweet. Let me see that Milwaukee. The real deal.com. Two bars battery took out all these rusted ass bolts in the bed. That's what's up. I like that. Next step is just unplug all the, well, not all of them, but just the two uh, harnesses that go to the taillights. And then I think this is. This is on the bumper for the license plate light, I think. So we won't mess with that. But they just unplug with these clip things. All right, it's kind of hard to see, but we backed the truck in and we're going to pull the bed off with the lift. So let's see what happens. Got to find the button. All right, I'm going to go up like halfway and then we can position them. Should we go up a little more? See what happens? Huh? I'm going for it. All the wiring's unhooked. Still a lot. No, they're off. Yeah. You see anything up there? No, we're good. Did the filler net come out? Yeah. I say we just put a flat bed on it. Hell yeah. Uh, same video different day I'm actually super happy it's like 50 degrees today it rained all day yesterday so all the salt is washed off of the roads so we're taking the truck uh, going to Jesse's shop to uh, work on his budget build Duramax but let's start this thing up As you can see, we made it down to Jesse's shop once again. Uh, he already started taking the headlights off, but since they're these ricey headlights, it looks like it might be a nightmare. Like, I'm not really sure what we're gonna do about that. But we're holding up the fender to the truck. Here, let's go on this side. I've got more room. Yeah, but I just wanna see if the color matches. So these are the fenders we painted the other day. And, oh dude, honestly, like, with this like washed and waxed, it probably look, that's really close actually. I mean, it looks lighter on the camera, but it's just really shiny. Hell yeah. Uh, we pulled the bed off last night. You'll see that uh, obviously in the video before this. 
but what I want to do is get like a wire brush and hit the frame like pretty much everything behind the cab and then a little bit under the cab and then we'll be able to spray this because it's so easy to get to right now but we're gonna work on the fenders and headlights today since it's light out and uh, hopefully this thing will look a little better in the front end and then we'll just uh, do the bed stuff later I guess luckily fenders on this thing are Oh, what was that? <laughs> Pretty easy to come off. Uh, if you can get to that one. Wait. No, I don't think you have to. Uh -oh. Just a little rust. Maybe we could just put the other fender on top of this and this one will just rust out and disappear. You know, I honestly, that's probably not that bad of an idea. Wait, does it bolt inside the door too? <coughs> I can't tell. It, maybe, yeah. I think. <laughs> I think we should just drive it like this. Putting the new one on is gonna be worse. All right, so we ripped off like half the rust on this thing. Wait, I it's think- It's attached to the battery tray. It was attached to this. It was attached, the hood bolts onto the fender. I mean, this is a nightmare. Anyway, I guess we'll do the other side or maybe we'll put the new one on first and see what happens, but God. That sucked. So both fenders are now off. We actually had to take the hood off because the hinge that the hood uh, rotates on is bolted to the fenders up here. There's like a little uh, mount for the hood. So both of those are off. There's Jesse. Uh, we want to take the bumper off because we might end up replacing that and it's also like barely held on. So. We want to figure that out. The headlights, like I said earlier, are just like a nightmare with wiring. So there's like one of the power wires is like soldered or crimped together. So we're not going to deal with that right this second, maybe later today. He does have new headlights over here for it. But I guess when he ordered them from the guy he gets all his stuff from, he didn't give him the bottom. There's like two lights here. I'll just show you on my truck. There's two lights, so he got new uh, top headlights. I don't, this must be like a running light or whatever. He didn't get those, so he is gonna contact that guy and get those, but these are the new ones. And then, what else was I gonna say? Oh, we were gonna put the new ones on, which are in here, but since we're cutting out the rockers this week, we don't, we don't wanna do that because this bolts onto uh, the rocker down here and it kind of wraps around it and part of that's going to get cut out so we would literally just have to take them back off and uh, finish the rockers so we're going to wait for that but we cleaned out a spot in the uh, bay to park it tonight and then obviously we want to sand or wire brush or something to the frame back here and paint it and make it look good all right, we ended up taking the headlights off. All I had to do is cut a wire right here and we're just gonna leave it because it's a budget Duramax build, so who cares? But I had to take my headlight off because we wanted to figure out how these connectors worked. But all we need are these two connectors from basically what plugs into the bulbs. They just had like all kinds of wiring coming off of these because there were LEDs and all kinds of halos and ricey crap that you don't want. So right now it looks hilarious, but it's ready to go. It's ready for all the new shit. So we should be good on that. That's pretty much it. So guys, stay tuned. I think this is going to be the, the last part of this video. Stay tuned to Nasty Nate. If you want to see this thing done, it should be done in the next couple of weeks with uh, wheels, tires, uh, new fenders, uh, new rockers, new cab corners, we'll make this thing look really good. Uh, subscribe to Nasty Nate, stay tuned. 
We'll see you in the next one. Thanks.